For fans of vaguely educational content, don't touch that dial. It's time for Shovelware's Brain Game. Here's the appealing fruit himself, the Dancing Banana. Zoo Pals. Ants. Ants. Ants Man! There's a lot of those guys all across the globe. No picnic is safe. But how many ants are there? Like, total. Shapes and such. <laughs> If you saw a three-dimensional object that looked like a perfect circle from all sides, what would you call that shape? Flags of the world. All these normal questions have me pretty bored. You know who isn't bored but is a bored? Here with our special guest question, it's Bordy the Smart Board! All aboard! It's time for a Bordy question! Take a look at this flag. Which country does it belong to? Eyes on the prizes. Why settle for a rectangular TV when you can have one that's shaped like a banana? This dancing banana-themed CRT television is here to bring some color into your life. With its bright yellow exterior and inviting expression, TV time will be that much more fun compared to the boring old TV you have now. Imagine you could be watching Shovelware's Brain Game and see double the dancing banana. And who wouldn't want that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you remember that wacky cat Garfunkel from the Sunday Funnies, right? What is the name of his owner? That works for me!
Math Zone. What is thirty six plus four? Taste test. My friends in Europe have been begging me to try bratwurst. Bratwurst this, bratwurst that. I'm supposed to try it and report back to them by tonight. But I have no idea what a bratwurst even is. Help me out. States. Which of the fifty U.S. states was the most recent to join the union? Eyes on the prizes. What is the model year of the Evolvo Fart Hinder? Nonsense non sequiturs. New from Lazy, it's the Do It Yourself Obby Kit. With over one variety of rectangular obstacles that may or may not be supposed to be lava, anyone can build their own obby without having to think about actual level design or matching obstacles to the theme for even one fraction of a second. Speaking of which, you should play my obby sometime. I worked really hard on it, you know. <laughs> Only the power of what can stop the beast? Artistic integrity. The Japanese art of paper folding is popular all around the world. Paper cranes, paper planes, paper unicorns, you name it. Naturally, being from Japan, this art form has a Japanese name. What is it? Correct!
Memorable events. <laughs> the Confederate States of America was a group of states that seceded from the United States over a dispute primarily about wanting to maintain slavery. On April 12, 1861, those nutjobs waged a civil war against the United States of America that they ultimately lost, and 3.9 million enslaved people were freed as a result. How long did their little temper tantrum last? Probably geography. I love paper boats. You know, I used to love sending them sailing down the creek by my house, but lately I've been wanting more. More challenge, more adventure, more water. If I wanted to send a paper boat sailing down the longest river in the world, which river would I need to put it in? That's right! With one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fantastic sides and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight awesome angles, this octagonal eye-catching sign is perfect for sprucing up your neighborhood. Oh man, oh that sounded bad. Um, if anyone asks, this isn't a real one we took from the nearest four-way intersection. Here's our Shovelware's Brain Game Grand Champion! That's the end of this exciting episode of Shovelware's Brain Game! Signing off from Shovelware Studios Hollywood.